kusema ma basketball wameitisha ma jet kuhusu uh -huh. kusema mi na kaka jet na seti hana jet ako na just the pen I was watching uh, TDS the other day mm -hmm. the daily show at Trevano yeah. and then ana onyesha picha ya ma jet zenye mikuwa kipush na like five of them mm -hmm. but he still needs another one you understand so nikini ma inaitwa prosperity gospel na waumini wanaamini wakipeana ndio mungu atawabariki mo you understand but lakini hapo ni unapea mtu upee mungu it's true you understand yesu alitupa watu viboko sana wakati aliokuta naona anafanya biashara kwa kija yake sio kija yangu ilikuwa inakuwa specifically tunaomba ule mtaka akakuja akakuta watu wanafanya biz kwa kija yake viboko zilitoka hapo sana so mungu hakuwa fudhara idea ya prosperity gospel prosperity gospel ambayo mm -hmm. Mungu alikuwa anataka ama Yesu alikuwa anataka ni ile ya wewe imani yako ikuwe strong yes. amini na mm -hmm. Mungu pia alikuwa mchapakazi sana Yesu pia alikuwa mchapakazi sana sure. umkaka hapo na dozi mm -hmm. umkaka angetoka inside afuke ile rifu nyingine mafans the only time umkaka alijaribu kulala flood vilitokea ibidi mkaka amke ibidi mkaka amke a same situation so umkaka hapo ilala Mkaka kikini hivi hivi kidogo anaitwa mahali ende afanye mira. Uh -huh. Yaani mkaka alishughulika sana mpaka sikia mpaka akadedi, mm -hmm. yani maisha yake yalichapa tu kazi. Mm -hmm. So ni mkaka ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi sana. Na hiyo ndio spirit ambayo watu ambao wanamfuata mkaka. Wanafua kwa na spirit ya uchapa kazi. Ndio maana hata Biblia inasema ukiwa na imani. Imani yako lazima ikuwe completed na kazi. Yeah, Waumini wengi hawataki kufanya kazi. Hawataki by the way wana na... kazi yao ni kuomba tu. Hao mapasta uh -huh. wanajua kwamba waumini wengi hawataki uh -huh. kufanya kazi. Mm -hmm. So what happens right now is wana tap into their their weaker side ambayo ina ina believe that uh -huh. things happen so fast. Ina yeah. believe that kuna binadamu tu mm -hmm. ambaye anaweza kuwa intercessor kati mm -hmm. yao na Mungu yeah. ile. So whatever this person tells you because you're poor no I'm a complete wash utafanya every single thing. Na Pastor Kanyari. Mheshimiwa Rais, ni mheshimiwa Rais ambaye ameanza kufanya kazi vizuri sana. One of those issues ambao nataka deal nayo ni kwamba hebu angalie hii sector ya church. Sababu kwanza makanisa ziko mo ma pastor wako wengi sababu hakuna tax ambayo inalipwa. The churches don't pay tax. So my churches ziko kada. CAK wametoa new regulation sai licenses the review utakuwa unapataje uh -huh. za TV wame review yeah. uh -huh. we make a little bit lesser uh -huh. ama a little bit tougher for people mm -hmm. but wanafa you we make a little bit tougher kwa mtu ambaye anataka kufungua church mm -hmm. na pale licenses za kwa TV kanisa wana broadcast na all that's why we ni prosperity gospel yes. kama TV in advertise mm -hmm. kanisa kwa church mm -hmm. all that stuff meaning wako biashara yeah. we know how much they spend ku easy you know services zao kwa mainstream tv uh -huh. every single saturday it's a lot of money mm -hmm. so they must have this money back mm -hmm. na wamefanya watu waamini kabisa kwamba wao wanaishi sababu ya watu so you must feed us yes. you must make us tuendeshe magari tujenge manyumba na kila kitu so mheshimiwa rais angalie lines ambayo inatoka mm -hmm. kwa hizi ma stations ambazo zina broadcast content ya christian content okay. Inabidi iangaliwe tena. Zenye yeah. zipo ziangaliwe tena, zikuwe scrapped of tena. Uchunguzi ufanywe. Yeah. Kuna times that the radio zilizimwa. Uh -huh. Last year or something yeah. zilizimwa kadhaa sana. Mm -hmm. Ilikuwa issue tu na clearance na maintenance na nini mm -hmm. kwaje vipi. Ifanywe pia kwenye TV. Mm -hmm. Itasafisha sana hizi issue. Mheshimiwa rais na mheshimiwa ndio mtu ambaye kuna power ndio commander in chief of the ule mkaka ndo ana deal na kila kitu. Mm -hmm. Ule mkaka kenye anazangalia ni kwamba makanisa wanze kulipa tax. Mm -hmm. Ndio yeah, kuna pesa mengi kanisani. Hii chache mwiko sita. Mm -hmm. Sita mlasti walitengeneza in tight na offering mm -hmm. 1.57 billion. Billion. Offering one year. They're not paying any tax. Mm -hmm. So kila mtu anafungua kanisa saa hii sababu kuna tax. So it's a easy easy business. Out yes. of ushuru na all the stuff. Whatever na preach huko hakuna mtu ambaye anaichunguza kidogo. Unajua so, yeah. kama media hapa kuna watu ambao wana let ya cancel ck wafanye hivi fanye vile kwa kanisa wameachiwa wafanye kenye wanataka sababu watu wanaogopa neno la Mungu tuache kuogopa neno la Mungu sababu hakuna kenye anaweza fanya neno la Mungu ufai kuongeza kitu ufai kupunguza and then it makes me sick is that utapata um, kama pastor wengi wana gari washiriki wanaanza kusema oh pastor wetu lazima wakuje akuwe na gari tuchange nini nini Makiu wewe hata una sapa. Twenty bob ya kukula ugali. Hawa kaka wanachangiwa pesa ya kununua anything. Na 
watu wanaamini people believe like these people sasa wako yani waona Mungu ni one call away so wakikuwa regulate the church ikikuwa regulate this is kitu yenye watu ambao wanaenda church au wanapenda kusikia but i feel like regulation ina 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 faianze first of all it without uh wakaka ambao ni ma, ni ma fake mm-hmm. pastor ambao ni ma fake uh-huh. pastor ambao wamekuja kibiashara uh-huh. zaidi ma pastor ambao wana manipulate kill ya watu mm-hmm. watu ambao ni maskini zaidi ndio kwa hizi machaches but okay. how come mm-hmm. bado tax uh, offering zenye ukupa hii ni 1.57 billion mm-hmm. meaning this poor person atafanya anything juchili i let it ile ito kesi tule ule mkaka ule mkaka ambaye akijeneana fajiliwa barabara na kila kitu mm, one of the, his followers paka ilitoka situation yeye anauza nyumba apeane paka the family walikuwa wame are you crazy mm-hmm. lakini yeye anaamini you know the, you know the right thing to find so ule ama pastor ambao wako prosperity gospel kind of pastors uh-huh. wanakuwa worshiped in their own way na funny enough mm-hmm. kanyari amekuwa tume complain mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Matiti so zake tuko complain za kwa everywhere. Yeah. Amerudi bila yetu tena. Mm-hmm. Atuje sawa mm-hmm. lakini amerudi tena. Mm-hmm. But I know by now kuna watu ambao washamtumia hiyo do. True. Na take. Mm-hmm. Now the only people doing that ni watu ambao wana pesa, no, maskini. Mm-hmm. So mheshimiwa rais mimi nasema mheshimiwa rais mm-hmm. wa the back stop na yeye yes. one call away ana revoke license ya huyu. One call away anasema able to anza kuchunguza ama charges na mapasta mm-hmm. kidogo. Mheshimiwa rais ajaribu kusaidia maskini ambao wanaenda kanisa. Mm-hmm. Because these people you can't question them. Unaona wanafanya kitu weird, but ukiwaambia religion is the biggest source of boy the world right yes. now. Ukiamini kwamba mimi penye naomba ni mbaya huoga na sira fulani huoga inapanda. Watu wanapigana duniani because of religion kushinda any other thing. Mm-hmm. So inabidi yangaliwe kidogo. Regulation ingie, machach waanze kulipa tax to to read out my pastor fake wakaka mbona tunanganya mtani madada mbona tunanganya mtani madada mbona na take advantage sababu kuna watu ambao ni maskini kuna watu ambao hajiwezi so whatever tell them to do they'll do okay niambia sahi nikutumie 500 utapata ngapi return according to pastor Kanyali 30000 30000 yeah kama mimi ni maskini nitatafuta 500 nikutumie hiyo ni 25 days that is a omba ngono hiyo basi nikirudi nitakurudishia hiyo so i'll do any single thing nipate 500 nikupatie watu kama hawa ndo serikali ya mheshimiwa rais ilisema ita itawakati itawakati off lakini watu ambao wanatafuta hizo pesa ndogo ndogo ni wapeleke huko hii serikali ya mheshimiwa rais serikali ambayo tuko na hope nayo sana hii yes. serikali inabidi ikuje kulinda watu against this prosperity kind of pastors about wow. Kanyari should not even be existing right now. Kanyari is someone let me tell you about Kanyari. Uh-huh. Kanyari ni mtu ambaye hata familia yake alishindwa. Sure. Kumani. Sure. Eti bao sana pombana kama mdada mm-hmm. na watoto wake. Mm-hmm. Iliachana na huyu mkaka ambaye anatumia kila siku alikamea kwa medoni. Na kuna TV mbili. Kuna TV ngapi mbili? Ah <laughs> kaka kuna station mpaka siku hizi ni kama baada ya nyimbo moja kuna TV. Mm-hmm. Baada ya nyimbo moja kuna TV. Ukipiga mm-hmm. kona kuna TV za gospel. Mm-hmm. Kwa nini? Mm-hmm. Kwa nini ni rais kuwa na TV ya gospel? Nimeshajiuliza hiyo swali. Why is it so much easy? Mbona hakuna TV za secular nyingi? Mm-hmm. Tuanzia hapa hapa na kuu. Na kuu TV ya secular moja. Ni moja. Moja. Na ni kikuyu. Mhm. Ni TV wanafanya kazi po. Mm-hmm. 90% ya zenye ziko. Mm-hmm. Ni za gospel. Kwa nini ni rahisi kupata license ya gospel TV station? Sababu kuna biashara ambayo inaendelea pale. Uh-huh. Do you know how long it will take? Mm-hmm. Procedure like wait for license to approve. I know it's long. It's long. long. Mm-hmm. But to them it's not long. Sababu ni biashara mm-hmm. wale wakaka wanachepa na verify mapema inakuja tunafanya biashara. Mm-hmm. So biashara ya kanisa ni biashara ambayo mheshimiwa rais anafaa asto. Mm-hmm. Na the first thing you could do ni kuweka tax kwa makanisa. Mm-hmm. It sounds very harsh. Mm-hmm. Weka tax to do a pastor. Eh mheshimiwa rais na yeye ndio ndio come clear. Mm-hmm. Kama state to itageuzwa Sunday service every <laughs> once every month. Once every month. Now walipe tax. <laughs> True story. Yeah, mama Rai, mama first lady alisema yes. tunakuwa na Sunday tunaenda kuomba stage tu. Mm. Kwa gathering yote kuna sadaka ambayo lazima yeah, itoe. Mm. Watu wengi sana kana ndao. Inaenda kwa kanisa gani? <laughs> Kama wana mali ya kupeleka tuko hapo na ile sisi nayo tuko na shughuli nyingi sana ndio tufanye. Prosperity gospel ni mbaya sana. Danger especially to the poor. Mm. And this poor people are wanna wanna issue chini dola ndio watu ambao lazima ni serikali ilinde. I'm saying the government because the government the back in stop na wao ndo kuna mtu akuuliza maswali mchote 
anywhere kama kuna serikali kuna president kuna mtu akuuliza maswali anakulinda hiyo ndio kazi yake wananchi ambao wamna machedas wakaa kama dada ambao mna machedas afadhali i don't know how to tell you this don't be bringing words Yeah, Let me tell you a story. It is us. It is us. It is easy. It's exactly, easy. Sometimes, mm-hmm. sometimes it, it takes somebody else to tell us that mm-hmm. you. At sometimes maybe you say you by force. Mm-hmm. Una take yeah. by force. You want to realize una una say you say unasema una girl kabisa, una when when you say you when 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 the devotion kwa when ah ah lakini baadaye utaona jamaa make sense. Let me tell you a short story about one kaka ambaye woga na safishi wa barabara kila. Mimi niko home bay. Mhm. Niko na somea primary boy nitoka home bay primary school. Best uko huko. Mhm. Big school and shout out to everyone wenye nisoma wapi. Wakaka wote wenye mandu naye. Mm-hmm. Shout out kabisa bana boy na wasupport. Mhm. Siku moja yule mkaka alikuwa anakuja kuleta kurse home bay. Mhm. Kaka atoka kurei sana amesafisha kila mahali it's crazy. Nikamwambia baba bana nataka niende study. Mhm. Kwa hiyo tunastudy hapo sio mbali. Just like around 10 minutes or something uko study. Mm-hmm. Baba bebe poa tafuteka. Mhm. Umkaka ikafika study mapema sana. Mapema ndo best. Before afike. Eh yeye before afike. Sababu that guy ukifika before afike hautafika. The entry rate ya leo ile mkaka ni kubwa sana. Na two or three, mimi niko class three. So you can imagine to pull up an entry rate by na car presidential in two or three. You have money, you have muscle, you have unasimamisha magari ya piti. Ndio kusimamisha magari ya PTO ni barua moja inatoka kufunga barabara ni barua moja inatoka kwa serikali. Mm-hmm. If you want to close Kenya Avenue, mm-hmm. I bring a lift for almost a month. Ndio afunge Kenya Avenue afanye afanye concert. Mm-hmm. If you want to do that it's a process. Yeah. For him it's not. I call away mtu Mungu anakuja. Sure. Ni mkaka kapula kwa magari convoy. Mhm. Mkaka kafika. Mhm. Mkaka naomba Bwana. Mm-hmm. Stadium imechaa. Hapo ni Homebay Stadium, hapo ni Homebay High School, Homebay School, mm-hmm. hapo ni Homebay Primary School hapo kando. Kule ni Lake. Aha. Uh-huh. Hai. Kana umbo bwana stadium imenyamaza. Mhm. Ni mkaka hata, yani watu waki. Usiongee mm-hmm. mbaya. Kaka naomba naomba kieni mkono juu. Mhm. Mkaka hapa mimi mdogo kwa mm-hmm. class 3. I want you to charge. Kwa uh-huh. class 3. Mm-hmm. Semesema wote wake mkono juu. Na mimi nimeweka. Na yule mwana ameweka mkono juu. Yule mkaka aliomba. Bwana wewe inapiga mkaka badala na omba tu. Ah. Sasa mimi ame kid mko na amemeanza kuchoka hapo. Bado nimeweka tu juu. Sio juu ya hapa. Juu ya sababu nilikuwa nagopa sana yule mkaka. To me yule mkaka ana ana tisha. He looks scary na devil. Kitu. Na na ni yake ya white. White. Yo. Why does the religion have to be scary for a kid? Una take it? Yeah. Na mkono juu for almost an hour. Mhm. Macho pio mifumo. So ni kadi book fungo macho kidogo nikagundua. Huyu mkaka ndo bado mkono wake hivyo juu. Kila mzee alikuwa ashachoka. Hakuna. Mimi nikaeka na wimbi ya chini. Nikatoka study. Tafuta space ya kutoka kutoka kutoka. Wakati ushaamini mtu ako closer to God. Yeah utaduki la kitu maana sema hata kama ni mbaya hata kama inakuumiza or anything kwa naomba bana mpaka unasikia kama kitu naku yani touch unasema touch you ever unasikia ni kama kitu unasikia ni kama mtu anakushika yeye kaka kaanza kutishia bana mimi sasa anamwambia kwa mama mcheki very very soon so hapo kando ya shule yetu kama by school hapo kando kuna asego hill aha ile mkaka kawa anasema kuna mtu ambaye anatoka huko kwa hili very soon siku nini itatoka kwa lake pia akakawa anaongea sana na hiyo congregation yote imekuwa surrounded na watu wake mm-hmm. ambao masuti ni kama wana stand mm-hmm. watch na guard na mimi mm-hmm. hiyo siku nikaamini mbona jamaa waga mpaka wanafagia barabara that was the first and the last time in year 10 crusade yoga <laughs> and i knew how dangerous religion is that time sure. ukiona mfuata mtu mm-hmm. haijalishi anasema nini haijalishi how crazy they sound haijalishi how they oppress you ama vitu wana do utampata tu ndio maana nakwambia sometime inabidi usiviwe by force sure actually perfect example ya mtu ambaye alisave watu by force mm-hmm. ni yule mkaka ambaye alikuwa anakwambia mwenye alikuwa busy mm-hmm. yesu wakati alikuta watu wanaomba kwa kijake aliduni viboko <laughs> aliwasaidia by force by force by force even though it means inflicting pain pain lakini by force baadaye mnakuja kujua kumbe atafai kudo hivi 
kama ni house ya god inabidi watu waombe hapa tu kwa house ya god mm-hmm. so kwanza watu wajiangalie mimi i'm not against religion, religion. Yes. but i want to tell you this is the most delicate mm-hmm. and the most powerful mm-hmm. and the biggest source of war in the world right now sure. na itabaki kuwa hivyo mm-hmm. so serikali ambazo tuko nazo waangalie kidogo mm-hmm. how do we regulate this thing mm-hmm. how do we stop anybody just coming up with the church anywhere mm-hmm. how do we ensure that when you wanaomba tu my pastor tu ni my pastor more mm-hmm. serious mm-hmm. my church yeah. how do we say like okay this this are our people mm-hmm. kwa nini pastor kanyari ali to con the other time na bado amerudi sasa hivi openly bila bila kuogopa bila anything so that's a big and better yeah so about the following is crazy people are desperate yes. we are all below the dollar mm-hmm. this thing is not a kenyan problem you can law sub saharan continent africa iko paka kwa hizo nchi ambazo tunafikiria zimeendelea hiyo mm-hmm. sio kama pastor mbona anaendesha maji like i told you mm-hmm. so ni solution ambayo tunataka hapa ni solution ambayo sio is for a comfortable solution mm-hmm. lazima itakasirisha watu wengine mm-hmm. lazima watu feel you are ni ni ngumu mheshimiwa rais kufanya hizi vitu sababu na yeye amejitokeza kama mtu ambaye anapenda Mungu sana. Unacheki? So ni ngumu sana question sana. Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. so ni ngumu sana mpaka hata maybe ya easy fan. Mm-hmm. So one of the reasons why he won ni kwamba alikuwa na onekana kanisani sana, sure. anaomba mm-hmm. sana nini. Mm-hmm. Rais alikuwa ina, inasemekana atafunga makanisa wale yeah. kwa kwa mama anasema kwa atafunga kanisa. Vitu na kwanza kwa lakini ni that is how big religion is na influence ambayo iko nayo is kwa kila mtu. So na bidi mheshimiwa rais aongee CK waongee na na bidi sisi pia wananchi tu ni tushaongelezo mm-hmm. so the thing hapa ni to say you by force mm-hmm. by force by fire that's the way it's yeah, gonna happen that is the way for let me tell you something uh-huh. mdada mm-hmm. this is the most serious thing i'll tell you all here okay niambia kwa january mpaka site na iko 2 months <laughs> tumalize this year mhm mheshimiwa rais na religion mm-hmm. is not going to make any tough decision uh-huh. about this story he is not mm-hmm. but you know what a president does okay. a president becomes a president mm-hmm. a president sits in an ac room yes. a president sends someone mm-hmm. i thought my tango was doing mm-hmm. all those things that one does and is because na cut off hiyo ni president kinyata likuwa anafanya so the president must send someone ambaye ni no nonsense mm-hmm. so if there's some dirty work that needs to be done mm-hmm. anaenda anafanya mm-hmm ya yeah, kitoka kuongea ana ana sound kama ya kwa against ile kitu ambacho jamaa anafanya lakini hiyo ndio kitu ngumu ni directive zake yes. so inabidi hiyo ndio rais afanye lakini tukitaka kuona kwamba mheshimiwa rais na yeye ako very sad about this story na ako together na wananchi mm-hmm. wadada na wakaka wengi ambao pesa zao zinachukuliwa na mapasta sababu so, anainvite ma bishop na ma clergy mm-hmm. almost every sunday status kuomba yeah. basi ama kaka ambao anatuibia pia tuone wakimbaitiwa status <laughs> true story uh-huh. isiwe mama ameita tu clergy mm-hmm. from a bishop clergy from a bishop tuone ameita paka um kaka alikuwa kanyari wengi <laughs> wengi kwa hizi matibi pastor nga tuone wa kaka pia anaitwa status tuone uh-huh. paka zile denomination za Leo Maria, Odeto, yes. Rofwe, Rosji, whatever hizo za kubama. Tuone. Mhm. Okiwa it was the truth. Mhm. Basi tajua mheshimiwa rais na serious kidogo. Siku ya bishop tu bishop. Sababu hii hii scandal life haifanyiki kwa chat za bishop by the way. Ni research za kura kura mazuri. Na pastor anga nani amjui hata mheshimiwa rais tajua anajua. So if it's going to do something if it's going to show us that are very blanket as far as this conversation is concerned wale wakaka pia ifike za moyo wa ikle state house waombe state house ni wale tuone kama wanaidhitisha watu pesa mbele mheshimiwa rais aha it's a very big conversation and religion is very powerful hivyo hivyo tu kuna bili tu tuangalie hiyo maslaha na hiyo topic ya religion is very 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 very, de- very very delicate yes and to to say you by force na to regulate makanisa. Hebu kwanza tusikize ngoma ya fisco. Waletwe a a. Tukitoka iko conversation. Sio tena kuanza kusikiliza ngoma za secular. Lazima tusikize secular song. A a. Nataka ucheze ngoma ya Christina Shusho, Petro Shusha Nyawu. One day Yesu alikuwa anaongea sana anapiga mo story. Akamaliza kuongea akamwambia Simon. Mhm. Akamwambia Simon aje bwana. Sababu Simon alikuwa ame ame, ame fish uh-huh. sana the whole night alishika kitu. Amehangaika sana. Alikuwa amepombana the whole night. Hakuna uh-huh. samaki. 
Kwa hatari sana. Hakuna uh-huh. kitu uh-huh. Yesu akatokea. Sema nakwambia bwana Mungu unatuambia tumie kufanya kazi usiku sana. Mm-hmm. Na tupata kitu. Lakini sababu umesema tushushe nyavu. Uh-huh. Nashusha. Tena naenda mpaka katika katika jeleg uh-huh. ni shushe nyavu. Sasa kushushe nyavu kwa context ya wanadamu ambao tunaishi saa hizi uh-huh. ni tuendelee kufanya kazi. Ukifanya kazi kila siku unashusha nyavu. Uh-huh. Na mheshimiwa rais inabidi ashushe nyavu kwa hizo. You got that song ready? Yes. 